Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at one of the most traditional and elegant references from Patek Philippe in the last two decades. This is the Patek Philippe 5022, in this case, in yellow gold, so we're talking a 5022J. Now, this watch incorporates so much traditional dress watch elegance, refinement, and Calatrava design elements that I really feel it's emblematic of the essence of Patek Philippe. Now, they're known for their complications, in the 175th anniversary of the company this year, they've been known for Baroque statement watches like the 5575 Moon Phase White Gold World Time or the ungodly you know, 5175 Grandmaster Chime. Seven to be built, six to be sold, $2.6 million a piece. But the mystique of Patek Philippe is tied up not so much in the outlandish Bugatti Veyron type watches, but in the simple, elegant, gorgeous, and fine dress watches that have really defined the company's history, really from its purchase by the Stern family in 1932 to the present. There is no more pure expression of Patek Philippe's design ethic than this 5022J. Now what you have here is a watch that's just over 33 millimeters in diameter that incorporates a lot of the traditional Calatrava design features. You have those very Art Deco 30s style Arabic numerals arrayed in full around the dial and supported by a subsidiary seconds at 6 o'clock. Now that's one of the original design features, the Arabics and the subsidiary seconds at 6 from the very first 1932 Patek Philippe Calatrava, back then known as the Model 96, designed by Henri Stern. So this watch features a lot of Patek heritage just, just in its appearance. Now the stepped bezel, the straight lugs, the moderate size, the exceptional thinness of the watch all make this really a canonical example of a Patek Philippe dress model. It looks fantastic in person because there's a lot of nuance in spite of the simplicity. Notice the small Patek Philippe Genève script right here. That's something that collectors bemoan today. The loss of that discreet, modest, self-confident Patek graphic. Today, it's big, it's bold, it's almost become Hublot style, and a lot of people regret that loss of taste, loss of refinement and discretion. It's all here in the 5022. This is as Patek as Patek gets. And continuing from the Arabic numerals and the subsidiary seconds, the modest graphics, there are traditional elements like the sector or railroad track, minute track around the, the exterior of the numerals. And although a subtle measure, it adds a lot of articulation to the lacquered dial. This dial is legible, simple, traditional, and beautiful. And it's because of those small touches, the Arabic numerals, the lacquer, which is deep and lustrous and shines beautifully in direct light, the sector railroad track around the minute track at the exterior. This watch really leaves nothing to be desired as a dress reference. And the icing on the cake for me would be these black axe oxidized Breguet minute and hour hands. Just a beautiful reference to watchmaking history, and no company has more reverence for history than Patek Philippe of Geneva. In fact, if you look closer, you can even see microcosmic detail of the subsidiary seconds at six, another black oxidized hand, this one a foy hand, racing around its own little railroad sector track, describing the 60 seconds of the minute. A lot of detail here. This really rewards use of a loop on the dial. That's how perfectly detailed it is and how finely finished it is. And although this is a traditional Geneva watch with a solid case back, they make no bones about that. Inside is traditional Geneva finishing. Now, after July of 2009, Patek Philippe switched over to the Patek Philippe seal standard. There's no diminution of quality. It's not as if they've suddenly dropped their pack and decided that all bets are off. They're just going to stamp the Patek Philippe seal on everything and go back to substandard quality, not that they ever did embrace that level of finish. There was never a substandard Patek Philippe, but just to say they haven't dropped their pack. But the Geneva seal is something that's historically significant. Since the 1880s, it's been a romantic notion. It's been something that speaks to the tradition of Geneva watchmaking, the sense of almost custodianship, and the sense of uh, local heritage that the Geneva seal brings to a watch. Geneva watchmaking was where Swiss watchmaking started, and the Geneva seal was part of a movement to preserve that as companies started moving out into the Valle du Jeu, into Vaud, into the Hura, into Neuchâtel. And to me, there's just a romance about the Geneva seal, which this watch has. 
that the Patek Philippe seal just doesn't, doesn't evoke. So there's that traditional Patek Philippe finish on the caliber 215 movement. Now the 215 is a very thin movement, 2.55 millimeters. It's a 130 part piece, all finished to Geneva seal standards. That means undersides of screw flanges are polished. That means screw slots are camfered. That means the circumferences of the screws are radiused. There's beveling on all the bridges and Cote de Geneve on the bridges, perlage on the base plate. All the wheels are circular grained. The crown wheel and the ratchet wheel are actually radial grained in a sunburst pattern. It's beautiful to look at, and if the watch is ever open, it has a snap back, so you could do it yourself if you wanted. I wouldn't risk it personally, but that's the ultimate measure of integrity. Artistic finish inside, where only your watchmaker is likely to see it. So this watch has a lot to offer, both internally and externally. Aesthetically, it's a fantastic piece. To look at on the dial, you get the picture of traditional Patek Philippe to enjoy on your wrist every day. And inside, traditional Geneva history and heritage with the Geneva seal caliber 215. With the Gyromax balance developed by Patek Philippe, free sprung for outstanding resistance to deviations in accuracy or timing error. It's accurate and it's beautiful. It's traditional and it's available. Now at WatchYouWant.com, Check out this Patek Philippe 5022J. This is arguably the most elegant, basic, time-only Patek Philippe watch you can buy. Excessively priced, beautifully maintained. This watch presents as new. Check it out on our website, watchyouwant.com. I'm confident that if you're in the market for no-holds-barred 20th century elegance, this Patek Philippe 5022J just might be the watch you want.